Hey YouTubers, what is going on? Thank you for stopping by. My name is JC and this is the Cuban Redneck DIY channel where we do cooking and grilling videos on Tuesdays and DIY style for all types on Fridays. Welcome back to the kitchen. I hope this video finds you well and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, I was about to start cutting some bacon. We got a little get together uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to do some wings and bacons and some burgers uh, and bacon and things like that. And I just got an idea. I decided to film this. Uh, for the simple reason that a lot of the people who know me, uh, know me personally, always criticize and said, uh, you know, uh, I always do like generic stuff on YouTube. I never really do any of my signature dishes. So uh, I'm going to be using bacon for today's, uh, tonight's dinner as well. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and film this. Uh, tonight we're having some whole wheat pasta uh, with a uh, sour cream, uh, bacon, and mushroom sauce. I'm also doing some grilled uh, air fried uh, chicken fillets and I uh, think that you know you guys might be interested in this uh, not necessarily a healthy you know uh, dinner per se but uh, compared to all the stuff that I normally cook yeah, a little bit on the healthy side check this out I'm using a chunk of small bacon for economical reasons. This cut tends to be about one quarter the cost of a pre-sliced variety. With that said, feel free to use any type, including turkey bacon. The point here is to give the sauce a bacon taste, and in my experience, any type of bacon will do. Just keep in mind that you're going to need two to three slices per serving. We're gonna cook the bacon over medium heat for about three to four minutes per side. The idea is to not only get it crispy, but also to render as much fat as possible. When we reach that point, we're going to move it to a dish lined with a paper towel. And then in the same skillet, we're going to cook about one and a half cups of mushrooms. We will cook this until they are soft and about half the original size. Then just like with the bacon, we're going to move it to a dish lined with a paper towel. We can now start the pasta. I'm only making two servings, so I'm cooking one cup of pasta in a little more than three cups of water for about 12 to 13 minutes. While the pasta cooks, we're gonna start with the chicken. Use a barbecue brush to oil the air fryer basket where we're gonna deposit two nine ounce chicken breast fillets. Using the same brush, we're gonna oil the top of the chicken to achieve a nice bronzing. This is going in the instant pot with the air fryer top for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. While that cooks, let's make the sour cream sauce. In a small dish, mix 2 tablespoons of parmesan cheese, 2 tablespoons of mayo, 1 tablespoon of garlic powder, and about a third to a half a cup of sour cream. Mix it all together and set it aside. The pasta is almost done, but before we drain it, we need to collect about a half a cup of pasta water for the sauce. The chicken in the Instapot is also done. We need to check that there are no dry spots and give it a quick brush before putting it on broil for three minutes. We can then drain the pasta. Add the sour cream mixture, stir that well, I'm adding three springs of green onions, but this is optional. That is followed by the mushrooms, then the pasta water, and eventually the bacon bits. Here's the final results. I hope you enjoyed this bacon and mushroom sour cream pasta recipe. This takes less than 30 minutes to prepare making it an ideal family dinner for any day of the week. Folks, my name is JC. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next week with a new recipe. God bless. Please support this channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you.